Where do you want this chair, Jane? By the window or in the corner over there? Ali, it's a lovely flat and this is a very pleasant street. What did you say the neighbours were like? Oh, don't worry, they're all lovely. You're going to be very happy here. Here, let me give you a hand. Why did you want to move in here? I've told you a hundred times, Matt. I needed a change. I don't understand. You had a great room at Helen's house. And more space. But you haven't got more space here. By the time all your stuff's in, it's going to feel really cramped. And you're moving in with your sister. This water heater looks a bit old, Mr. Usher. Call me Eddie. Is it reliable? Reliable? It's top quality, Ellie. I'm sorry, Matt. The whole thing between us was a mistake. A moment of madness. It wasn't. I love you. And I love you too, but not like that. I think I was feeling sorry for you. And that's not really the basis for a relationship, is it? Everything's in perfect working order. Any problems, I'm only a phone call away. Here's my card. Oh, thanks. But this is only for office hours. Isn't there a 24-hour emergency service? Allie, do me a favour. On this rent... <laughs> Just give me one more chance. Matt, please. That was my fault. I'm really sorry. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. What the hell's going on down there? I'm sorry, we just We're stopped... just moving in. Well, can't you move in some other time? It's two in the afternoon. And I got back from New York at six o'clock this morning. So can you try to keep the noise down? your guitar, Jane? What? No, it isn't. It's mine. I'm off to a rehearsal now with my band. I didn't know you were in a band. Well, you don't know everything about me. Obviously not. Uh, you can't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, I'd like to hear you play. Have you got any gigs planned? No. We haven't. Not yet. We're uh, waiting for the right moment. Good for you. I used to be in the music business. I work with all the biggest bands. Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, ABBA. Uh, maybe I can help you. Has your band made a CD? Here you are. Send me a copy. It was my fault. I dropped it. I'll see if I can get it repaired. That's beyond repair, mate. Professional. Non-smoking. Definitely. What else was in the advert when you moved in? Here you are. Oh, thanks, Ali. Sorry. What time do you finish today? At six. Are you all coming to see our new flat? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Great. Quiet. That's important. Put that in. 
What is it, David? What? Oh, nothing. Just going to the loo. What's going on? Have you got any money? Money? How much? I could possibly manage five pounds. Two hundred. Two hundred pounds? You must be joking. What do you want two hundred pounds for? Please, David. It's important. Please. Is the rent cheap? Hardly, but the landlord thinks it is. Well, we are renting a whole flat, not just a room. Maybe that's Simon. I'll go. How are things with Simon? I don't know. He's always busy. I never see him. What's that? I brought you a housewarming present. Oh, Matt. It looks really expensive. Yeah, it's cost a fortune. Simon! Champagne and flowers? Uh, right. Thanks, Helen. It's OK. It's really thoughtful of you. Yeah, but uh, they're not from me. I found them outside the door. Hang on a sec, there's a note. It's from Bill. Who's Bill? I'm so sorry I was rude earlier. I was really very jet-lagged. Welcome to your new home. The guy upstairs. What, that grumpy American? Well, he can't be that grumpy, can he? In a bit. Yeah. Hi, Helen. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's all right. Your hair looks wet. I didn't know it was raining. It's not. I had a bit of an accident. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's a long story. I'll tell you later. But what about you? You sounded really worried on the phone. What's wrong? Everything. Why? Matt's changed since you left. He used to be so quiet, asleep most of the time, half asleep the rest of it. But now, he's taken up the guitar. Yeah. He's joined some kind of band, hasn't he? What are they like? I haven't heard them, but he's appalling. And I don't know what to do about Simon. It's getting worse. He's just not interested in me anymore. He's always doing something else. Take last Tuesday. I'd been waiting outside the cinema for over half an hour before he turned up. Hi, Pat. Everything all right? I was really looking forward to seeing this film. But it had only just started when his mobile rang. Je suis désolé, Mathieu. Entre nous, c'était une erreur. Un moment de folie. Pas pour moi. Hello, mate. Je t'aime. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm really sorry, Pet, but I've got to go. But what about the film? Tell me how it ends. I'll call you later. Je t'aime, moi aussi. Mais pas comme ça. Je crois que j'avais pitié de toi et c'est pas vraiment une bonne base pour une relation, hein? It's been like this for weeks. I think he's seeing someone else. Are you listening? What? That's terrible. You should tell him to turn down the volume. Who? Matt. Matt! 
Thanks. That's really helpful. So what happened to you? You said you had some sort of accident. Well, it involves our new neighbor. Bill the American? Yep. Gosh. Got to hear this. I'll be right back. Ali had gone to work when I got home. I fancied a relaxing evening. So I made the flat nice and decided to have a shower. We haven't been formally introduced. My name's Bill. Bill Fisher. And I'm Jane. Jane Wilson. Good to meet you. Look, I'm, uh... I'm sorry about the door, but I, uh, I heard a scream. Yeah, it was me. When I got in the shower, the water was freezing. I think the water heat has broken down. You're not an electrician by any chance. Well, I am a scientist, although I work in pharmaceuticals, actually. Have you got a screwdriver and a flashlight? Oh, you mean a torch. Is that what they call it over here? Yeah, but I haven't got one. Okay, I'll go get mine. This is appalling. It was put in years ago. Can you turn off the main switch? Oh, yeah. It's probably in the hall. Yeah, right, of course. Next to the fuse box? Under the stairs. Okay. But just as I was going to look for the main switch, the phone rang again. It was you. Oh, hi, Helen. What are you up to? I'm standing outside Freud's and waiting for Simon. Can we talk? Of course. Shall I come and meet you there, say, in half an hour? I'm a bit busy at the moment. Thanks, Jane. OK. Bye. Are you done out there? Yep. I think I can see the problem. There's a loose wire. Can you hold the uh, torch for me? Unfortunately, the electricity hadn't been turned off. What do you mean the electricity hadn't been turned off? You hadn't turned it off. I know. And I felt terrible. Was Bill okay? Well... Hey, take it easy. I am so sorry about this. Accidents happen. It's no big deal. But just wait till I talk to Eddie Usher. That wiring is a disgrace. Ow! What is that stuff? It's a homeopathic cure. Hmm. Unscientific. But it's good. I guess you really like TV. Not especially. Why? Well, that's a pretty impressive screen. Oh, that. It was given to me by Matt. Is that the guy I saw you with last Sunday? Yeah. Is he your boyfriend? No. Ex-boyfriend. And then what happened? Nothing. I came here and left him to mend the door. You didn't. <laughs>
Nice one, boys. Very impressive, though you should work on that ending. I've drawn up a contract for you. Black trouble? Yeah, this old thing's useless. It was such a lovely day, I wanted to go for a ride in the country. Well, why don't you come with me? I'm just about to go for a spin in my MG. I should stay and sort this out. Yeah, I can fix that for you later, come on. Is that thing safe? Safe? You mean, like, can it give you an electric shock? I just meant it looks a bit on the antiquated side. That is one of the finest sports cars ever made in Britain. See you coming? Okay. Have I got time to wash my hands? Sure. Cappuccinos all round, Ellie. Okay. Let's get down to business. I liked your CD. I think you boys are good. I even think you might become quite big if you get the breaks. But listen, I'm only going to say this once. You must get a new singer. Got it? What's wrong with Matt? Oh, do I have to spell it out? No. Don't. Good. Because you should always listen to your Uncle Eddie. my little old English sports car. I love it. I never understood why the British stopped making cars. Okay, I, I can understand pulling out of volume production because those cars could be made cheaper elsewhere, but cars for niche markets? The Brits were the best. Sorry, Bill. This won't take a second. No problem. You don't have to sign anything you don't want to. But if we enter into a formal agreement, I can give you boys a helping hand. Finished. Thanks, Ali. Thanks. What kind of help? First off, I can fix you up with a gig. A gig? We could set up a gig for ourselves. At the Galaxy? I don't think so. What else? Let's put it this way. I'm seeing an old friend of mine this evening. He signs up new acts for the top record companies. I could ask him to come along to your show. What do you say? Can you ride? I may be an American, but I'm no cowboy. I guess you can. Yeah, I love it. I learned to ride at drama school. It was part of the training. You know, speaking, singing, dancing, horse riding. Right. So, do you do a lot of acting? I wish. I actually do a lot of teaching. I've got to make a living. Sure. Do you like what you do? Well, my job. Yeah. The job's good. <laughs> There's no need to read the whole thing. It's a standard agreement. Sorry, I'll be back in a minute. I just need to have a word with someone. Girl trouble. Hmm. We're meeting at the Nobart about ten, so if you'd like to come along. Hi, Helen. Hi, Simon. I didn't see you in here. I'll catch you later. Is he a friend of yours? Oh, yeah. Well, sort of. Actually, I came in here to see Ali. What are you doing here? <laughs> Everything all right? It's all totally above board, Matt. You just have to sign here. Uh-huh. But what about sign? We only need one signature.
send you a copy. You won't regret this. You know how Matt was really cut about Jane? Well, this music thing's become really important to him, and I just wanted to give him some support. You mean all this secrecy is because of Matt? But why didn't you tell me? I thought you were seeing somebody else. Oh, sorry. I just didn't think I could tell you. I know you can't stand his music. It isn't music. Well, Eddie thinks it is. Can you believe him? No, but Matt does. And that's enough for me. Where's Eddie? Oh, he couldn't hang around. He's a busy man. You know, I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Me neither. I'm getting to really like it here. That's good. The thing is, I might be going back to the States. For work? Yeah. That's why I had to go back to New York, just before you moved into the house. I might be taking on something new. It's not definite. They're still making up their minds. I was looking for Ali. She's still at work, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Right. That doesn't look too good. Yeah, the chain keeps coming off. Right. I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, but just for a drink. Nothing serious, then. The last thing I need right now is a relationship. Especially one where we could be waving at each other from opposite sides of the Atlantic. He's probably being transferred to New York. Oh, no! Oh, yes. Which is why I'm taking a step back. We should talk about this later. Yeah, sure. See you. Bye! Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm a bit lost. I'm trying to find a rehearsal room. Oh, for the Broken Hearts? Yeah. Are you going to the audition? Uh, you don't look much like a singer. Me? No, I'm a friend. A friend and an advisor. Is that where you're going? I can't find the number. Me neither. I've never been here before. Hang on. I've got an idea. Hello? Matt. David, hi. Just a minute, I'm taking a call. No, Matt! All oh, right. <laughs> Come in. For the audition? Yeah. Great. We're just this way. Oh, hello. 
Is that the Cosmic Harmony Center? Yes, I'm interested in joining one of your Tai Chi classes. No, I've never tried it. But I do yoga every day. <laughs> I'm sure the contract's all right, but uh, you know what Helen's like. <laughs> and she's making Simon nervous, too. You know I'm doing you a big favour here? Yeah, I really appreciate it. I mean, I normally charge for legal advice. Mm. And I doubt that you could afford my hourly rate. And you are? Iggy. Great. Uh, we're not quite ready at the moment. Uh, why don't you take a seat? Whatever. David, just one thing. It's okay to video the candidates, isn't it? Candidates? It's not a job interview. David. As long as you don't use the video for commercial purposes, it's fine. That's what I said. That's brilliant. Thanks for your help, David. You know you still owe me the £200 I lent you for Jane's TV. I haven't forgotten it. I'll start paying you back after our gig. You're a real mate. Okay, Melissa. Can you tell us something about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name's Melissa, but I guess you all know that by now. And I've always wanted to be a singer in a band. In fact, I've been in a band, and our records have sold all over the world. Really? You know, I had a number 27 hit in Norway. And got into the top 100 in Luxembourg. And we were pretty successful for about two years. But then it all went wrong. Our manager was sent to prison. He was really horrible. He cheated us out of lots of money. Uh-huh. But hey, we were young and innocent. Things happen. How young? Well, I was eight when I joined the band, so I guess I was ten when we split up. Right. So, uh, could you sing something for us now? Sure. I'd love to. I'd like to sing Amazing Grace. <clears throat> Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound Hi. Hello, I'd like some information on your acupuncture classes, please. Yeah. It's Jane Wilson. The address is number nine, Manchester Road, Oxford. Okay. Bye. What do you make of that? He's amazing. I had no idea he played the piano. It's quite something, isn't he? Maybe. But like I said, he's not for me. Oh, come off it, Jane. You're crazy about him. We're just having a bit of fun, that's all. We're just two ships passing in the night. Well, I hope you won't be sending me an SOS. That was hopeless. Ten singers. And ten disasters. What about Melissa? Her singing was even worse than yours. She's pretty fit, though. In an obvious way that doesn't appeal to me. I think we could all do with a drink. Good idea. I played in jazz clubs back home. For a time, I even thought about going professional, but... Work, money, career. Why don't you sing along? Me? Why not? I can't. You're always singing at home. Mustang Sally. Guess you'd better slow that Mustang down. 
Come on, don't be shy. Mustang, Mustang Sally, my baby. Guess you better slow your Mustang down. You've been running all over town. I guess you better put your flat feet on the ground. All you want to do is ride around, Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. All you want to do is ride around, Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. Wow. I think you found your singer. Absolutely. What if Bill doesn't want to do it? Bill. All you want to do is ride around, Sally. Ride, Sally, ride. One of these early mornings, you're going to be wiping those weeping eyes. Telling us the contract is a disaster. I'm afraid so. What if we decided to ignore the contract? Well, you could ignore it, but my advice is that you would be in big trouble. That's just brilliant. Why did you sign it? A contract drawn up by a wide boy like Eddie Usher. What happens if we do the gig, David? Eddie will get all the money. I'm not turning up at the Galaxy just to line Eddie Usher's pockets. You'd better do something about that contract, or we won't be playing any gigs anywhere. OK. I'll think of something. Yeah, right. And what about Jane? Is she going to sing with us or not? Look, I'm working on it. Don't worry. <sighs> Wow. Somebody likes you. <laughs> I doubt it. Who are they from? I don't know. There's no card or anything. Oh, they're wonderful. They must be from Bill. He likes to send flowers. I'll put them in some water. Yes. Jane, hi. Hi, Bill. I don't know what I've done to deserve them, but thanks for the flowers. The flowers? They're wonderful. Uh, but not from me. They're not? Uh, no, but anyway, it's good you called. Can we meet up later? Something's come up and I'd really like to talk to you about it. Such as? Well, I really don't want to talk about it on the phone. I'd rather tell you face to face. I'll pick you up at seven. Would that be okay? Sure. I'll see you at seven. Bye. That's weird. They're not from Bill. It's Eddie. Hello, Eddie. We're glad you've called. Are you? That's nice. Now, listen, girls, I'm a reasonable man, but rules are there to be obeyed. You're getting behind with your rent, and that isn't good for anyone. Why don't you arrange a standing order with your bank to pay me the rent every month? Because if you do that, we'll avoid any unnecessary unpleasantness. When you fix the wiring and repair the water heater, we'll pay the rent, but not before.
That told him. At least we know Eddie can't have sent the flowers. You know what? I think it must have been Matt. Oh, perhaps you'd better call him. Could you do it? Please? <laughs> Hi, Matt. Huh? Is that you, Matt? It's Ali. Sorry, Ali, there was uh, something funny with the line. I, I know this is a bit of an odd question, but did you send some flowers to Jane this morning? Will she do it? What? It was all on the note. There was no note. Oh, no, it must have fallen off. I want her to sing with us. Sing with you? Well, with the band. We need a singer, and when we heard Jane the other night, we thought... Well, I thought she was brilliant. Did you? So did I. You know something, that's a really nice idea. I'll have a word with her about it. Thanks, Ali, you're a star. Bye, Matt. How about trying something that could really change your life? It's crazy. You know, it's my job if I get caught. Eddie's the real criminal, not us. He'll probably go to prison. But if we don't find the contract, I'll never be able to pay you back all your money. So let's get started. How are we going to find a contract in all this lot? It's like looking for a, a needle in a haystack. I know. Got it already? No, but it's Eddie. They've offered you the job in New York. That's right. They emailed me this morning and wanted to know how soon Stop! I... Stop! What the hell are you doing in here? Legally, it's called breaking and entering. Who do you think you are, a lawyer? That's right. And I'm representing Matt and Simon. I wouldn't do that if I were you. If you call the police, I'll have to show them this. Mr. Asher, or should I say Mr. Pym, or Mr. De Quincey, or Senor Hector Fernandez? Now, the contract for the band isn't very favourable to my clients. I wonder if I might suggest one or two changes? David, are you OK? Couldn't be better. Listen, Eddie's agreed to make changes to the contract. Has he cancelled the gig? No, the gig's fine. Also, he's going to be doing some repairs to Jane's flat. All you need now is a singer. A what? A singer. Yeah, I'm working on it. Good. The only concession Eddie wasn't prepared to make was that the lead singer could be you. Sorry. Catch you later. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Matt. Would you mind telling us what's going on?
I've been dreaming of this, Jane. I always knew you'd come back to me. Jane, hi. Oh, hi. How are things? Oh, fine. Listen, can we meet up later? I, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. The thing is, I really need to talk to you, and we never really got a chance the other day, what with Matt's unexpected arrival. We could talk now. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't right now. I've got to go to the office. On a Saturday? There's loads of stuff I need to sort out, you know, for the move back to New York. They're really putting me under pressure to leave as soon as possible. Right. Anyway, do you think we can meet up later? Say about eight? Well, you can try. Don't worry, I will. I'd like to take you out for dinner. I've been thinking. Uh-oh. No, really. What are you going to do about the band? Don't you start. I've already been sent this. He's a bit desperate, isn't he? Well, wouldn't you be? The gig's in ten hours. You've got to let him know. I will, I will. It'd be awful to let him down. And it isn't just him. There's Simon, there's Helen. She's doing everything she can. Even David's helping out, and for no money. Why don't you sing with them? You know the songs, and you've got a fabulous voice. What have you got to lose? You know what the problem is. I just don't want Matt getting the wrong idea. Anyway, Bill wants to take me out for dinner tonight. It's funny how people think bad news and food go together. I really think you should give Matt a break. Doesn't he deserve it? Deserve it? He's put such a lot of effort into this band, and he's tried so hard to put your relationship behind him. He isn't trying it on, I'm sure of it. He doesn't want to get back together with you. You seem to know an awful lot about Matt all of a sudden. Well, we've talked about it, that's all. Hello. One, two. One, two. It's not very original. Ali! <laughs> it's great to see you, but you're a bit early for the gig. I know. I was just wondering if there's anything I could do to help. That's really nice of you. Well, I want it to go well. Is there any news about Jane? She's not coming, is she? She must have decided to go out to dinner with Bill. Okay, Matt. It's down to you. Everybody, gather round. Everybody. Can anyone tell me what's going on? Warming up. Where's your singer? She couldn't make it. Couldn't make it? I've invited important people from the business, I've signed a contract that gives away nearly all my rights, and now you're telling me you haven't even got a singer. You're not singing, Matt. No way. Contract clearly stipulates that you are not going to sing with the band. Am I right or am I right? From a strictly contractual point of view, you're right. Eddie, we're on in a few minutes. Jane, I really care about you. 
You're the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. And I don't want to lose you. Well, I'm not the one who's going to New York. You could come with me. What? Well, I don't mean... I don't know what I mean. But there must be a way we can make this work. Please. Oh, I'm so sorry. I really ought to answer this. Okay. Jane, where are you? We need you desperately. What's happened? And now, let me introduce to you the one and only Broken Hearts featuring Eddie Usher! Eddie? You've got to be joking. They didn't have a choice. Wait a moment. I need to talk to Bill. What's going on? Is it the gig? Yes, it's a disaster. I've really got to go and sing. Okay. We can sort this out later. Ali? I'm coming. going on? Sorry, Eddie. Uh, change of plan. What's she doing here? The contract clearly stipulates... That the band can choose its own singer, provided it's not Matt. Come on, Eddie. You know it makes sense. Break a leg. You better be good. Those boys have got a damn good deal out of me. 